Hi, I'm Kathwan Ledesma. I'm a writer, educator, wife, and new mother of two. Parenting has definitely been my most exciting journey, but it also comes with a lot of questions. So I've asked a few friends and experts to share what they've learned from their own parenting adventures. We've compiled the best stories and tips in the hopes that their experiences will enlighten yours. This is The Parent Files. Brought to you by The Parenting Emporium. For me, traditional is exactly what I went through, which is a lot of structure, there's a lot of homework quizzes, there's one way of doing things. The traditional educational system is, I think, what most of us are familiar with. 40 students in a class with one teacher, doing worksheets, PE, recess, lunch, field trip. Progressive, on the other hand, I think is very tailor-fit to the child. It answers where the child is at the moment. What I understand progressive learning is, is that the educational system goes at the children's own pace, so based on the child's interest, just the child's pace of learning. Montessori is an educational method that follows Maria Montessori's philosophy, so following the need of the child. They're big on life skills, so they teach the children how to be independent, how to keep their things neat and beautiful. Montessori is actually quite traditional in the sense that the materials that you use should only be used in a specific way and that there are certain parameters. So it's not so much an inquiry-based program. It's play in the sense that they're using materials, but they're not free to use the materials as they please. For homeschooling, primarily what we do is, you know, we, we don't just teach the kids at home, but we teach them everywhere. So we want to focus on what they are able to do and the perfect timing. You know, we, we emphasize that it doesn't matter if you learn to read at five or four, but whenever the child is ready. Growing up in a traditional way, so I find it most comfortable being in a traditional school. So I sent my two kids to a traditional school, which works quite well with them. We're actually enrolled in a traditional school for this June. We just decided on that because I feel that the discipline that they will get in a traditional school will still help them, especially now that we're having difficulty, like, you know, making them be more independent. So I feel that a traditional school will really help them with that. She's in a traditional school now, and I think we are really planning to keep her there. I think one of the factors that we considered when we put her in that school was uh, just basically the first impression that we had when we talked to the teachers and the owner. We felt very at home. It's a very important thing as a parent is to be able to, you know, be comfortable with the teachers because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they're the people who's going to watch over your kids and teach them uh, when they're not with you. Our son right now, he's in nursery, he's in the parent system. And I think one of the things we really liked about that school system, yes, it's a traditional system, but there's also a strong hand-in-hand -hand partnership with the parents which is, we really like that. We really like that because we feel like we're involved. And we're part of their education. It doesn't feel like we just drop them off in school and we forget. And we, we don't know what happened and then when they come home, we ask them, we, they don't really say. So with the PARF system, we feel like, oh, so this is what they've done in school. And we could also use that. We could extend their learning and work hand in hand with a teacher, basically. My school follows a progressive approach. So it's a play-based, progressive school. The reason I was more inclined towards a progressive program is because of the way it views children. That children, especially young children, that we see them as capable learners, that they want to be part of what they're doing, what they're learning. They don't want to just be fed the information. And that being capable means that they can do it. And teaching through play because that's what they enjoy and it's fun and with all the things that they have to learn. Play is one avenue that they can learn. It's multi-dimensional. They can learn so many things in just one activity. We chose to go progressive because we're both in creative fields and I wanted my son to realize that he wasn't different from other people because his parents work at night or we don't go to an office, that we're not weird. So he's surrounded by other kids with parents who are also not very traditional. 
and it gives him that sense of belonging. We love the idea of progressive because it makes him look at lessons in his own way. He's encouraged to try things in a different way. He's not going to be shot down because it's not the prescribed math solution to a problem. Based on my experience as well, it's better that kids are not being graded based on what they memorized. It's more of what they really learn and what they put in practice, and how they apply it in real life. We ended up choosing a progressive school simply because we felt that it was more updated to the demands of real life. My kids, they remember things, they really connect present with the theory. It's best to have kids at this age with progressive learning environment because it harnesses their love for studying, for crafts. Of course, at this age, they like to play around, they like to sing, they like to dance. And so, with the school that we are into, they're more into harnessing that potential of the child and at the same time teaching them. When we moved to the Philippines in a Montessori school, it was actually our first time for our child to be in a Montessori school. So, basically what I observed was that if one day he didn't feel like doing science and he just wanted to do math, he could start the day off with math. Unfortunately, fortunately, the Montessori method didn't work out for him because he likes structure and he appreciates being told that he's doing well or where he's at in terms of ranking in the class, what he's done wrong, what he could do better. So it really would depend on the child. Maybe let your child lead you to where they flourish. I think you have to know your child. It's their introduction to to school and it will lay the foundation for them about what school is and you want them to have a positive approach to it. 